Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So you have made it this far all the way up to lesson six. So thus far, we've learned how to use SAS on demand for academics, how to upload and import files into that interface. We've learned about SAS libraries, as well as data and proc steps, and how to read in raw data. And today we're going to learn how to use SAS informats when reading in non-standard data. So the first question you may ask, what exactly is non-standard data? So SAS has a standard, just like we all do. And their standard is that it can only read in characters, numbers, decimal points. It doesn't really read in anything that has special characters. So when we're talking about non-standard data, we're talking about the hyphens, the slashes, dollar signs, commas, percent signs, things of that nature that SAS on its own cannot read in unless you utilize an informat. So if you have data where there is a price column and that price column has dollar signs in it, you need to use an informat. If you have data and it has a date column in there and that date column has slashes or hyphens between the month, date and year, you need to utilize an informat for SAS to read it in. So there are three types of informats and we're gonna go through each one and see an example in the actual code. So we have character informats, numeric informats and date informats. Now, character informats are always denoted by that dollar sign. So if you go back and look at my lesson five video, we talk a little bit about character variables. We talk about the input statement that you see at the bottom of this slide. And what that input statement does is it labels the variables in the data set. So if I'm typing in raw data into my SAS program, I need to tell SAS what column names or variable names I'm typing in. So in this example, name is a character informat. It is denoted by a dollar sign and it has a width of 10. Notice that the W in informat stands for width, okay? Next, we have numeric informats. And numeric informats can come with a decimal place, okay? So you can have an informat W dot D or just an informat W dot. So the width, once again, is the width of the entire number, okay? So in this case, I have weight, that width is six, and it has two decimal places. So I'm calling the informat six, dot two. If I look at the age, notice that I do not have any numbers after age, right? Normally we don't say we're 57.20 years old, right? So age is just a regular numeric informat, which is two dot. It's telling me that my age is two with, and it has the trailing dot so that it recognizes that it's an informat. The next type is the date informat. So in this case, in my input statement, I have a variable called intake underscore date. And that informat is month, month, day, day, year, year, 10 dot, right, or period. So basically it's gonna be a width of 10 and I'm going to have a hyphen in between the month and the day, right? So MM, dash dd dash year year <clears throat> okay um year 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 so for four years there <clears throat> all right so do not forget the period after the width in order for sas to recognize that it's an informat you need a period after the width so notice in my input statement i have name dollar sign 10 period, age two, period. Then I move over one space and then I have the weight six, period two. Move over another column, intake date, month, month, day, day, year, year, 10, period. Now, if you don't know what these plus ones are for, 
you need to go back to lesson five so you can learn how to um, read in raw data and utilize plus ones, utilize the at symbols to read raw data that are standardized in columns. So this is another example of informats. So I'm creating a data set called customers and I'm inputting three variables. So I'm inputting the name, the products and the price paid. Notice that in my data line, since I'm typing in raw data for this example, I have the name with length of 10. In this case is Lindell and Noria. I have the product, which is also a character with length of six, which is boat one and boat two. And then the price paid is the dollar seven dot two. So if I count all of the values, the dollar sign is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see that this number is of width seven and it has two decimal places. So that's how we get the 7.2. And we're gonna see this example momentarily. So I can also use these informats when I'm reading in raw data files. So in this case, I'm reading in a raw text file. I'm going to put the link to this text file in the description below. And in my input, I have the patient ID, which I'm utilizing as a character. Even though the ID appears as a number, that number is not used for mathematical operations. Normally, you're not adding patient IDs together. So I'm going to keep that as a character. And then I have the MRI dates in that text file in month, month, day, day, year, year, seven format. So let's hop over to SAS On Demand for Academics. Once again, if you do not have this free interface, go back to lesson one and I show you how to utilize SAS On Demand for Academics and how to get started. So the first thing that we're looking at is data lines. So in this example, on this first data step, I have typed in two data lines of raw data, Josephine and Robert. In my input statement, I have name with the informat dollar sign 10. I have age, I have weight that is of length six with two decimal places. So if I count the weight, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's where the first number comes from. It's the entire length of the number. And then an intake date, I have that month, month, day, day, year, year, 10. So once again, if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so that is a, the date is of a complete width of 10. So if I run this data step, right, I have the name, the age, the weight, and I have the intake date. Notice that that date does not look readable to me. So in lesson five, we talked about how we can add a format statement to actually format the date so that is readable to us. The input statement only allows SAS to read in the date. It does not format it to us so that we're able to read it with our naked eye. So when I add that format statement, intake date moves to the front and I see that now this is a readable date that I can actually read. All right, so the next example is using that $7.2 informat. So once again, I have two data lines, so I'm not reading in any raw files, and I have the name of link 10, the product of link six, and then the price paid, the entire number, including the special characters, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that whole number is seven and it has two decimal places. That's how we get the dot two. And then I run this and I have the name, the product and the price paid. Notice that the dollar signs were dropped. 
My next example is utilizing a text file. So once again, you can import text files into SAS On Demand for Academics. You can get these free data sets on the web or create your own text file to play around with. But pretty much make sure that you have your files home highlighted and you click this upload button. And then you can choose the file on your computer to upload. And then in order to find the file path, only thing that you have to do is you can right click, or if you're on a Mac, control click, go to properties. And that is the path that you would put in your end file statement. So I have already uploaded this mri.txt and I have the path within SAS on demand for academics where this text file is located. DLM just means delimiter. So I noticed that when I look at this file that it has spaces between the columns. And I also recommend opening up this text file on your computer so you can actually see how it is formatted. Okay. So it actually has spaces in between everything because right now, since this window is small, everything looks bunched up, but it does have spaces in between my columns. So that's what the delimiter means. And since the first observation is my variable names, I want to tell SAS to start reading in the data at row two. Okay. So in this example, I'm just inputting two of the columns from that text file, the patient ID and then the MRI date in the month, month, day, day, year, year seven format. Notice that I also added that format statement so that I can have that date readable to me. So when I run this code, I see that the MRI date, the first one is December 7th, 1991, and I also get the patient ID. So that is how you would utilize informats if you were actually reading in a text file and not typing in the data on your own directly into the SAS program. So that is a quick overview of informats. Let me know if you have any questions. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on lesson seven with Learning with Jelly. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.